thank you for tuning in to watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today's video, you've probably seen from the caption or the title, my top uh, picks of uh, alternative for the Swatch Moonwatch. And I'm gonna do it a little different. I'm gonna give up uh, the honorable mentions. This is the stuff that I have in my collection. Uh, I wouldn't mind uh, hearing what you guys would think. It will be your your picks of alternative. I got this idea from um, uh, from a YouTuber. He pulled watches from his collection. Uh, you you guys may or may not have uh, heard of him. He goes by the name of Wrong Time Watch. His name's Kevin. I put a link of uh, of the video that he did of his alternative, which the. Uh, um, Obviously, they're his, and he, he actually didn't do too bad. It's some um, nice picks that he put out there for his uh, his version. And so, I'm going to give up mine. And if you guys have something, like I said, if you want to put some stuff on there, um, in the comments, what you guys will, uh, what would you think will be your alternative to the Swatch uh, Moon Watch? I was uh, actually excited to hear about it because they gave the whole new buzz to the watch game then of course you know those damn scalpers that made a $200 watch into like thousands of dollars which is total BS at its finest before I get too long winded in this video I'm gonna give up my uh, honorable mentions first get them out of the way then here is the first one I got a Baluba 9-6 B as in Bravo 304. I, I did a review pretty much on all these watches, so I'll, I won't bore you with the whole specs. I'll just show you what the watch is. Then, if you guys want to, you guys could uh, find them on on my channel, or I probably might do. I probably may uh, put the whole links of every single one on there. So, of course, you know, it's all chronograph. You could use whatever chronograph you want, but here's uh, this little guy. It's a pretty cool little stainless steel. A quick, uh, with this, with this, it's a, blah, drawing the blank. It's, it has a stamped clasp, a pushers, dual pushers. So, you know, it's secured. All you gotta do, if you hit one, nothing. Two, pops. So here's this guy, put this one out of the way, and the next honorable mention is my uh, Citizen Bryson, uh, what is the reference, uh, CA0648-09, L. I put it on the, on the rubber strap, uh, strap coat. So, here's this one's a chronograph, obviously. The start button. The best part about this guy is the solar power. Not like, um, of course, not like the the, uh, the moon watch. So that's honorable mention number two. And what do I got? And I have uh, my fossil. Uh, this one. Is a FS dash four seven three six stainless steel. And there it is. I got a okay. I got to fix that. And it's on the, the same stamp clasp, single pusher. Now it's three, and my final final honorable mention is my um, my Citizen MCW dash two hundred H. Not my Citizen, my Casio. I'm sorry. It's on a nice little uh, traditional uh, uh, strap that they put on the ra like a raisin. Obviously, you got your your little um, indices. There shows your uh, your minutes. So there's that. 
those are my honorable mentions and on to my well the ones that i think uh are better suited for uh, this is my top my picks of what's better suited for alternative and starting off with this my little beautiful um seiko it's a hundred meter water resistant it's a lot better than than what you're getting with them and then with the swatch minus the whole the the whole uh planet name uh the screw down crown nice little hidden pushers of course you know you got more of a history with this one because it's already been out for a lot longer than than the swatch has it's running a seven seventeen ninety two movement uh this is easier to be serviced than what I heard. I don't know if it's true or not with the swatch that there are throwaway pieces. So once that watch is done, it's done. Not like that, uh, not like the swatch where this guy will not leave your wrist tarnished. So I'll show you a wrist shot of with this guy. I'm gonna take, I took off my, my last watch to be shown. Let's see, let me zoom out. So here it is on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Obviously it's not at the original, not the original strap. This had the, uh, well, from what I saw, this had um, a leather strap with it or a rubber strap. So this is, my top pick, I put it right, put my top pick right here, then, who should we go for, okay, then my next one is my Timex Expedition, uh, it's a T49904, what, what the, um, the swatch doesn't have is a nice little endoglow. This one already kind of resembles of a speedy with the bracelet and the dual pushers. Of course, a stamp class or um, it's all stamped. None. It's not too bad. It's a little jangly bracelet, but you got history with this guy. So that's my. Oh wait, let me give you a wrist shot. That's watch two. I actually got quite a bit that I picked. So this might be a long winded video. So please forgive me. If you make it through it all, I appreciate your support for watching it. And this one, I call this one my John Wick watch because it's uh, the, uh, the name on here is called the Action Required. It's a CA. 0420-07E That's a nice little chronograph. I added um this quick This quick release So Like I said about about these guys the um, The solar power watches are are awesome because you don't have to worry about the battery well Eventually it will die, but it'll take a long time for it to to pass. So I won't bore you with the whole specs because I did review on them, and I'll leave the links to the the ones I'm I pick. And my next one on the list is a Tissot. Uh, this is a Tour de France, but it's a chronograph. It's a Swiss made. Uh, good accuracy to keep it along with the theme of uh, the swatch being uh, Swiss, quote unquote made. I don't know if they really are. So here's here's this guy. It's a Tissot. 
that's what I like about it when you pull the crown out once you pay attention to the the minute or the chronograph seconds let's see I think I had that out of focus yeah it's a pretty cool little watch so Honestly, with the history of this, you can't go wrong with with this kind of watch. There's that. I'm gonna go through them pretty quick because don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. And my Nebula Marine Star nine nine six B two sixty five. I had the inner. Rotating bezel. Of course, you know, all these chronograph functions work. This is on a. Of course, this is a quartz movement. Safety latch. Dual pushers. Oh. Uh, Alright, and on to the next one is another Citizen Eco Drive uh, CA0715 03E as an Edward. It's a, a quote unquote professional diver. So, in chronograph, the crowns are screwed down. So, it's already that alone. This guy's already kicking those uh, those watch watches uh, and butts on the creative, at least uh, giving us a. Oh, and I I put it on a different uh, deployment. The original came with the with the the tang and buckle, or yeah, but had two one floater keeper. It keeps floating away. So here is so this is why I put it on. All right, and my second to the final is. My Seagull 1963. How can you not add this to the list of of the alternative watch to a to the swatch? Being a being such a beautiful little timepiece with the expedition case back, you can see the ST Seagull movement in action. So, uh, so here, this is what she'll look like on my wrist. All right, and my final one, the piece of resistance is my Bulova Lunar Pilot Watch. Try to remember the reference number. Give me a Brief second. It's nine eight four one eight six. This one already has a history of being into space, along with the with this um, the Speedy and countless others. This is a, a hands down my pick for the best alternative. Um, alternative watch to uh, to the, uh, their version of their their uh, homage to a speedy. So this guy will be the hands down the the top dog to win it all. Now, if you want to count the the Pagani design, the version three, maybe, but I still will take this guy over that one. 
I love this guy. This was my first uh, obtainable grail watch. So, here it is. Then, I'm going to bring in the other stars of the show. Pan out some, so you can get a better visual, hopefully. And so... Here are my little pics of uh, my watches. So many watches. If you guys made it to this, to the end of this video, it's been a, a long-winded one, probably almost the longest one I've done. So this is my top picks of the alternative to the the, the speedy moon watch or the swatch moon watch let me know what you guys think and uh, i want to know what you guys would pick as your top uh, alternative for this thank you for watching until the next one you guys have a good one